Caesar, bring forth the Belita. Yea, Duke Theseus. The fair Belita, I won thee with my sword. I brought you here as a prisoner from the Amazons. Now I love you, and I wish you as my wife. I hope your disposition softens towards me. We can marry soon. Enter the palace of Theseus, the fair Hippolyta. Theseus, unbind my hands! This is not a jest! I'm tired of being your prisoner! Now, fair Hippolyta, if you choose not to be my prisoner, would you not fare better with my wife? Will my hands be free? And will I be free to come and go as I choose? Is that the bind your marriage requires? My gracious Theseus, for how can I serve by your side and offer wisdom without mine and hands? Once again, fair Hippolyta, the wise words have, have filched my heart. Caesar, unbind Hippolyta, and treat to all the finery I do to what justly deserves. My lord, may I return to the Amazons, to my home and family? Is that your will, fair Hippolyta? If you travel far, you may miss our wedding celebration. But do as you please. Your goodly speech answers neither yang or nay. And how many days will I be the wife of Duke Theseus? Four happy days. And oh, how slow the days will <laughs> <laughs> Four days will quickly change the nights, and four nights will quickly dream away the time. Hippolyta, I wooed thee with my sword, and I won thy love. I will wed thee in another key. I present thee with the wedding gift of thy choice. Then, fair duke, find a play, one of nonsense, charm, and fantasy. Have it performed to humor me. It shall be executed. Caesar, find Prince of the Carpenter. Tell him to find a troop of walk actors to perform a fantasy for my beloved. It is to be a dream-like play. I happily await the celebration now. With duty and desire, my lord, before I leave, an angry Aegeus and his wife await an audience. Send them forth. Why an angry Aegeus? What word says that Hermia, the only daughter of Aegeus, does not wish to marry the man Aegeus has met. She loves another. And will you force another lady to marry a man, not of her choosing? Another? Why, fair Hippolyta, it is the father that says in the daughter's blood, for he is much wiser. You thought and see through different eyes. Why then, fair Hippolyta, how would you rule this case? Good sir, your reason will be the marshal. If the father has made a wise choice, rule with him. We shall see. Enter the palace of Theseus, the fair Aegeus and Sylvia. How you, Theseus, a renowned duke. Thanks, good Aegeus. Sylvia, what news with thee? Kind sir, righteous Theseus. Noble lord, this man Demetrius hath my husband's consent to marry our daughter Hermia. He is wise, wealthy, and honorable. I beseech your grace that I may be the champion of this cause. Stand forth, Lysander. Yea, sir, I am my lord as well derived as he is well possessed. My love is more than his, my fortunes every way is right. I am beloved of the beauteous Hermia. This man hath bewitched my child Hermia and given her rhymes and love tokens with braces of thy hair, and stole her with braces and conceits. She will consent to marry Demetrius. Lies and the hast by moonlight at her window sung, and given her nosegays, sweetmeats, trifles, and with cunning has stolen Hermia's heart. Is this true, Lysander? Aye, sir, but I love Hermia. O oh, spite, choose by another's eye. I will show this Demetrius. Draw swift as a shadow, Demetrius. This shall be as short as any dream with you, the victim. Brief is lightning in the blood night. I shall run you through. Oh, please, Lysander! Oh, cross! Kill him, Demetrius! Behold the jaws of darkness that devour you. He stands an edict of destiny. Hold, friends! Friends, part. Silence. Arise. Seal up the mouths of outrage for a while. Then shall I be the general of your woes. Demetrius the Chosen, by me, by Sander, by the giving of this fray. Stand there. Oh no, Prince of Scoverall, the unlucky man of this brawl. Lysander, death, he's challenging me, 
shall really exile on hence. Continue so in Egypt. There shall be no exile. These shall show patience. Lysander hath turned her wheels obedient to the stubborn hardness. She will not consent to marry our choice for her. She will not even listen to Demetrius. And my gracious duke, the law states that if a daughter is not obedient, she must be put to death. Her father is so angry that he may test the letter of the law. What say you, Hermia? Be advised, fair maid. Demetrius is a worthy gentleman. So is Lysander. I do entreat your grace to pardon me, for I know not by what power I am made bold. He is, but your father's voice must be respected. No, dear you. Examine well your blood. My father should see through my eyes. Rather, your eyes must his judgment look. What will happen if I refuse to wed Demetrius? Caesar, bring the book of law. The law of Athens states, either die a violent death or become a nun. It is my choice. <laughs> oh, I'd rather become a nun than marry a man I love not. Duke Theseus, would you not choose death for me? Take time to pause. And in four days, the wedding day that took my fair beloved to delight in me, I prepared to die for disobedience to your father will, or else to wed Demetrius. If you yield not your father's choice, you will live a barren sister chanting thank him to the cold, fruitless moon. Oh, Hermia, heed your father's wishes. Relent, Hermia and Lysander. Yield to my certain right. You have her father's love, Demetrius. Let me have Hermia's. Scored, but Lysander. Hermia is mine. I give her unto Demetrius. This Demetrius has also in the soul of Helena, but she still dotes on this inconstant man. I have heard enough. Egypt, Sylvia, Demetrius, go along. Hermia? Fit your fancies to your father's will, or else the law of Athens will be executed, and you will die now the single life. Will you be so harsh with they that wish to marry? I'm not harsh with marriage, rather, disobedience. Hear me, Hermia. 